Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit my host on Click Digest and in this video we are going to give you a tutorial on how to upgrade your Nexus device to Android M or Marshmallow version 6.0 using the images forcefully even before the OTA update is out. Let's get started. Android M or Marshmallow is the version 6 of Android that has been made official now. It is available for Nexus devices when we make this video, which is Nexus 5, Nexus 6, Nexus 9 and Nexus Play which is a media streaming device. You can download the respective builds and all the download links as well as tools that you require for this tutorial are provided in the description section below this video. So do check out all the links and check out detailed instructions in the description section for any troubles that you find. Before you start with the upgrade process, we must warn you that this process will erase any data on your phone. So make sure you take a complete backup of all the important files, pictures and everything that you need from your phone before starting this process. Before you start, download the respective image. I have a Nexus 6, so I downloaded the Nexus 6 image. If you have a different Nexus device, all the links are provided in the description section where you can download these official images and you need to save them on your computer in a folder. I would suggest that you call it uh, say a Nexus upgrade folder so that you can refer it, place it on your desktop somewhere. Also download the ADB tools that would be required for this upgrade process that you would need for giving commands from command line for unlocking as well as flashing the new flash on the phone. After the download is complete, quickly go to the settings on your phone and in settings go to the developer options. In developer options you would find uh, an option which is called OEM unlocking and enable that. In case you find difficulty in locating developer options, it may be a chance that it is not enabled on your phone. For that, just go to about phone and tap on the build number which is mentioned here a couple of times and it will enable the developer options for you. After that, do the OEM unlock feature and once it is enabled on your phone in the developer options, next procedure we are going to do on your PC. So just turn off the phone and follow our instructions further. After your phone is completely turned off, long press the volume down and power key simultaneously for a few seconds and you will see the fast boot screen. After that, plug in the phone to your PC where you have the ADB tools extracted and connect it using the USB cable. On your PC, hold the shift key, right click on the ADB and run the command which says run command from, from here. This will launch the command prompt from the folder where you have all the files extracted. On the ADB tools, now you need to give the unlock command which is fastboot OEM unlock. The command is provided in the description section below. You can copy and paste it in your command prompt. Just hit enter and that will unlock the bootloader on your Nexus device. Please note that some of the devices may already have the bootloader unlocked so in that case, you will receive a message saying that your bootloader was already unlocked. If it was not unlocked, it will be unlocked after you give this command. You have to confirm unlocking by using your volume and power key for navigation. The volume key is used for navigating up and down and the power key is pressed for selecting the options while you are on fast boot screen. After your bootloader is unlocked, all your files and data that are present on your phone previously will be erased. So make sure that you have taken a backup already before doing this step. After you see a fast boot screen, keep the phone connected to your PC and give the following commands. Now when your phone is connected to the PC and ADB is running, you need to give the command which says flash dash all dot bat. This is a script which is present in the files that we extracted from the image folder and it will flash all the files that are required for your phone to update on your phone using the ADB tools. This may take a while so be patient and wait for some time while the process is going on and as per our experience there are some errors that are coming up with these files and you may not get the script executed properly. There is a system.img error that pops up and it's okay don't be panicked don't be worried we are going to tell you how to fix that. Please note that there is a slight difference in the steps when you are following it on a Mac if not a Windows. We are talking about Windows PC. If you are doing it on a Mac, we have given different instructions, especially the different command that you need to give on your Mac ADB. 
and the download for Mac ADB tools is also slightly separate. So please follow the Mac instructions, which are clearly marked in the description section below. Now to fix that error, which is for the system.img file, you need to manually flash the files. For that, first you need to extract the image file that was earlier there in the package. There is a zip file that you need to extract. Under that file, you will find multiple IMG files, including the system.img. Place them in the same folder where you have the ADB files so that flashing is done seamlessly. Now you need to give five separate commands and all the commands are mentioned below, which are like flash boot, space, flash, space, recovery, space, recovery.img and four more commands which are for flashing these image files one by one. Please refer to the description section below for all these commands one by one and feel free to pause this video here and flash these and come back again to play this video. I'll tell you the further instructions. I believe you have already flashed the five files that were required to be flashed manually because there was an error of system.img in the initial batch file or the script file that we ran. After you have successfully flashed all the IMG files, all you need to do is give a reboot command through the command prompt. For that, just type flash boot space reboot. Giving that command will reboot your phone and since this is the first reboot and the apps might still be installing, it may take longer than a normal boot, maybe up to four to five minutes. So do not panic. This is usual and this is normal. It will not take four to five minutes on every boot since this is the first boot and the apps are still adjusting. The first boot always takes some longer time. The new Android version 6.0 or Marshmallow brings in some very new features and these cool features are covered in a separate video that we are doing separately. The link is provided here on your screen as well as in the description section below. So do check out the other video as well. And there you go. You have the Android version 6.0 Marshmallow installed on your Nexus device. If you found any troubles doing it, please feel free to leave some comments in the comment section below and we'll come back with answers. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below. And for more such video tutorials from Intellect Digest, make sure you hit the red subscribe button and stay tuned to Intellect Digest. This is all we have on this one. I hope to see you on my next video. This is your host Rohit Khurana signing off. Thanks for watching.